guys <clears throat> excuse me so today i'm going to do a small zoya haul um i got these in uh september when they did a <clears throat> i think they did another swap um where you buy some polishes and you can swap out and you get them for half off um so i have two four six five seven of them here uh, so let's go ahead and get started I am being a little quiet because it is early in the morning and little baby pony is sleeping. So we're going to see how far we can get on this video before she wakes up. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First one up here is Song. And this one actually reminds me of um, China Glaze's Blue Sparrow. This one has a much better formula though. And I no longer have Blue Sparrow to compare it to. Um, I kind of wanted to buy it again, but I may not need to now. Um, also, what's on my nails is um, this is Different Dimension Cat's Eye Nebula. Um, this is for the ABC challenge that I'm having in October. I know this video is posted middle October, but this is at the beginning of the month. So this was for the letter C. Okay, so let's go ahead with song. And there it is on the brush. It's very opaque. Okay, and here we have one coat on the nail. This one has a terrific formula. Now, if you had Blue Sparrow from China Glaze, you know how bad that formula sucked. It was streaky, it was sheer. Um, this one is very nice. Very nice. Okay, so next one up, we have Nika. And I kind of bought this one for the name because my little Nika, not, not baby pony, but my my Nikita that we lost last year, I used to call her Nika. So, we got Nika. And I've been looking for something like this. As you've noticed, I've had Lotus. I've had, there was another one right after it that I bought that had like this pinky shimmer in it. And neither one of them were noticeable on the nail. This one has a purpley shimmer with gold inside kind of like a grayed out purple base. Very pretty, and that shimmer is very, very apparent. And so here it is on the brush. It's almost kind of like flaky form. You could see they're, they're kind of not uniform. Okay, so here is one coat of Nika. The only thing that I don't like about Zoya and I have a hair on there, is their brushes are extremely thin. And now I don't have large nail beds, but I mean to paint this swatch nail, if my nails were that large and long, I should say, that would be problematic for me because they are a very thin brush. Um, kind of like the China Glaze brush. Okay, next up we have Rebel. And this is a very pretty, <laughs> looking at it, it looks like it's a pearl blue with a gold shimmer. I think two of these will end up being destashed, but I'd like to wear them first just to see. There it is on the nail. It's a very shimmery. Um, as long as it doesn't dry pearl, like frosty, I'm okay with it. So this one also has a very nice formula. Okay, it does have some brush strokes through that shimmer there. Now this next one I bought this came out with Amira, um, I believe, and I have not worn Amira yet, but 
this one follows the same line as Amira, where it's, well, Amira really isn't even that pretty in the bottle. I went to Amira because it was the blue version. This is Lacy, so this is the green version. And this looks very pretty in the bottle. And I bought this after watching Bonita Juanita's Zoya D stash, because I thought, wow, that looks so pretty in the bottle. How can that be ugly on the nail? Because she's not very fond of it. Well, let me tell you. And I remember her review of this collection, and she had the same opinion of Amira. And where they're very pretty in the bottle, they look, in my opinion, they look dirty on the nail. Like it just looks dirty. Um, at least on the swatch. That's why I want to wear them because they might look different on the nail. But here it is in the brush, and it looks beautiful. But it's kind of like that grayed out green and it's kind of like a dirty green like a taupey green i don't know how to describe it so here is one coat of lacy and i don't know it must be the shimmer that makes it look dirty like i mean <laughs> Let me know if you understand what I mean by it looking dirty. I don't know. I mean, pretty in the bottle. Not sure on the nail. Okay, so this one here is Erica. And I haven't really bought pink in a while. So this is a um, very pretty light pink with this beautiful it's i'm not even going to call it a gold flash i'm going to call it orange <laughs> it looks more orange to me than gold and that could just be because it's gold in a pink base and it's making it orange looking but looks orange which is okay very pretty <laughs> coat of Erica. And this one's kind of sheer on the first coat. This one will need to get built up. And I don't remember. I mean, I did swatch them when I received them, but I don't remember if I added two coats or not. Or, I mean, if it was opaque in two coats or not. Next one up, I kind of bit the bullet and bought. I'm sure I have others that are very similar, if not duped. And if I do, more than likely, those will leave my collection and River will stay because it's a Zoya. Okay, so this is River. It's a very pretty shimmery blue. At the very extreme angles, you can kind of catch a glimpse of purple shimmer in there. And there she is in the bottle, or on the brush rather. Okay, and here it is. See, like from this angle, I don't think you can see it. Nah, it's not letting you see it. But at this angle, all around the sides are purple. Okay, so here is one coat of River. This one also has a very good formula. Okay, and last up is Zuza. And a lot of these I bought after watching, again, Bonita Juanita's D stash. She did a nice close-up of them, and I thought, ooh, some of these are pretty, so I made a list. And that's kind of why I like watching D-Stash videos, too, because you can see the polishes up close. Everybody's going through their collection and showing off the polishes, and, you know, you might come up with a couple new favorites. So here is Zuza. And this is kind of like a tealy green with gold. Mm, it's like a gold to silver shimmer. So it's 
really bright like silver but it looks like it's gold also so yeah nobody ever said i was an expert at, the, at actually describing colors i really should um probably do a little bit more research and actually pull the description off of the zoya website but i don't so okay guys so this is the first coat i'm going to pause and come back with the second coat okay so here we are getting a little bit closer so here is two coats of song we have two coats of nika we have two coats of rebel we have two coats of lacy and i think i know why it looks dirty that shimmer whatever they put in there looks grainy it's too large um if it was just the shimmer i think it would look great but i think because of that glitter flaky whatever they put in there it's too grainy it's too dark and too grainy so it looks dirty i did three coats of erica and i did three coats of river and two coats of zuza zuza's coming up a lot brighter on camera so that is it guys that is my um zoya haul from their september sale um next haul i have a lot of hauls i've been doing a lot of shopping a lot um more than i should I have, and I send it all to my brother now, because <laughs> uh, if my husband knew, he'd kill me, literally, flat out, kill me. So I send it to my brother. So I've got packages coming from eBay. I've got, I've got a bee's knees lacquer coming. Um, the lovely sister chick sent me some pure ice and some sinfuls that are new um i also have i'll be filming a haul tomorrow um and it's going to include two um hard to find opis it is sugar plum yum and nutcracker sweet um let me see what else i've had other polishes come i've had um island p and i've had some glam come i didn't film for them um, I really didn't think of it. I have Pretty Perfect Polish from the UK that I actually might do today. Um, yeah, so kind of like a swatch and review of them. So while she's still sleeping, I'm going to go ahead and do that then. So I thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.